Yep, another Easter break. Um, I really don't know what to say. Hey, but hi there, Wallace. You look so old. Is it like 30 years from now? I see you lost all your hair, some beard left. That's very odd, man. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, so welcome to another episode of a series that doesn't exist yet. Um, it's very odd talking to a camera, I should say it. Um, okay, let's do this. I started this video to kind of, I don't know, start to document somehow um, the progression that I'm doing in this album that I'm creating. Uh, this has been several years now. Um, at least two years that I'm taking it seriously, that I really want to publish an album. I've had tracks lying around uh, like forever. Um, since I started playing electrical guitar like in end of 2008, so 11 years ago. And uh, what can I say? I, with every year that passes, I have a much bigger respect for people and artists that are trying their hardest to get uh, music uh, or videos, whatever that is they are producing. It takes a lot of perseverance, uh, resolve um, and luck because life happens and one day you change job, another day you lose an instrument. You can't stop that, it's just the way it is. God, it's odd looking at camera. I'm all by myself in this room here, you know, it feels very odd. But enough of that. This album that I am making. Um, I have some music that goes back 10 years. Um, there is this track that I, I named it uh, when I created it. Um, it didn't mean anything. Uh, it's just a strange word. Gotham uh, and uh, I decided that it is the name of the dragon. It's the name of the dragon that my dog Melon has. Um, he really likes it. It's a very special, um, how to say, little pet that he has. Well, it's not a pet, but you know, you get the idea. And um, that, that is the dragon song, right? Um, I'm still writing it, um, but you know, let's say it's like 90% finish. Uh, two days ago I played the bass to it. Um, so th there is a lot of progress and there will always be progress when I have time to do this. So Easter breaks, uh, vacations, any break, it's an opportunity to take, to get closer to finishing the album. Uh, right now it is Easter break, so I've done a lot of progress on that one track. I intend to make even more progress, not only on this track, but on tr other tracks, because Easter is not over yet and I'm home alone. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I'll be doing the flute because the flute is a loud instrument and my neighbors are away having a great vacation time uh, and I will try to nail it. It's, it's not easy because I don't really practice that much of hours which I should be doing but I don't uh, for some reason. I don't understand myself but bear with me that I am a strange person. Um, I talk to cameras, you know, alone, uh, sometimes. And I let my beard grow just because it is there and it grows by itself and, you know, I don't need to maintain it so much. It, it doesn't look like it's very maintained, but I'll be taking it away when this album is on the way out, somehow, or before. You know, there is no rule, so I can do whatever I want, really. Um, Nobody is going to stop me. I'm not going to stop myself, uh, neither are you, you know. 
So yeah, so that was the Dragon Song and the many other songs, you know. I, I think the highlight of the album will be, uh, in my opinion, will be a song called Melon's Dream. Um, it is a song that I, the theme of the song, I kind of, sometimes I go out with my flute to the forest and play there. Um, it's a long time since I did it last. Anyway, that's how the theme came out and um, I've been sitting on this like forever and uh, became a little tune, you know, and I have built upon it and now I am definitely, the track right now is like 13 minutes, it's easily going to, it could reach the 20 just because I have some ideas that I haven't recorded yet and I know that I can take my time in them. Uh, I don't have any intention to make it longer than necessary, but you know, when music is coming to you, you don't want to stop the flow and say, hey, you're restricted to 20 minutes, you know, it's nothing like that, the thing just comes. And uh, one thing about my creative process is that I usually play it all in my head before, right? So when I sit down in the studio, I'm usually very productive because I already know what I'm about to play. Sometimes I cannot play it. Sometimes I take time to play it. And that's why it can take time for the track to evolve because uh, sometimes I really want to play that part that way. So I have to get myself warm to do that you know so it's been great you know I, I sometimes uh, when so much time passes in between the idea and the execution I find that I've become a much better keyboard player or a better guitar player and now I can actually realize the idea that I had and that's very rewarding so the track the the Melon's Dream track it is about his dreams. Uh, it's a fantastic dream. Uh, there are many things happening and I composed it over the past two and a half years. I've been, you know, adding to it. And it, um, it goes like that, you know, he, it's the four seasons, it the transitions between the seasons and the seasons themselves. And he's there having his adventures with his friends. And uh, I asked uh, a guy that I really look up to, uh, Chris Panathier. Uh, he's a great, great illustrator. <laughs> you should see his illustrations. And uh, I, you know, I was going really crazy. You know, I was shooting to the moon uh, at that time. And I was saying, when I, and I sent a message to him uh, hey Chris, uh, what about making an illustration uh, for my dog and his friends and it might become an album, you know. So I sent him uh, pictures of Melon with his friends and spoke just a little bit about the idea and I let him, I unleashed him to his full potential. Okay, just do whatever you want, you know, and his illustration still strikes me to this date. I mean, it's, it's almost two years now that he's finished with it. And when it came out, I said, this album is just going to have to happen because of this cover, you know. Uh, such a great homage to Melon. Then there are other tracks. Um, some tracks, they have their name. Uh, some tracks, I haven't really decided what they are going to be called. But, you know, I, I have a pretty good idea of, uh, of the intention behind them. One is the hunt. Uh, Melon is out there and he's hunting. I don't care much about this race thing, right? But, but uh, his race is kind of called a hunting golden retriever. Uh, race um, and we never went hunting uh, really uh, for real um, I I don't think it's cool to hunt other animals but it that's his nature you know and 
he goes there and does his hunt in this song and it builds up you know uh, he first he's just out there he has the intention and then he gets this whiff and then he starts to track down the prey and then he has eye contact and then the pursuit begins it's like it's crazy you know it goes from very uh, low key to completely crazy and then it kind of comes back to you know he's done with it and he's happy and satisfied yeah then there is um, then there is this other song uh, right now it's called Bray uh, it's you know him imagining his prey and he dreams a lot and I think that he hunts a lot in his dreams um, so it was somehow that idea that I, I wanted to capture there and it is also a song that existed from before uh, but I, I thought it was going to be very fitting with the whole album and the theme because you know the album, the, the songs in the album, they are very different from each other sometimes, but they all have a cohesive, um, they, they coexist, you know, um, the, they don't tell a story from beginning to finish, nothing like that, but they, they, I don't know, you could say, you know, they are from the same album. Let's put it that, that, that way. And if you want to hear it, uh, surprise, surprise, you've been listening to it throughout most of the video. I've been putting uh, some excerpts from different tracks as I speak in the background. So you kind of get an idea where we're going. Um, as unfinished as they are, you know, that there, there are so many other things that are missing. Uh, the instruments are not really glued together the mixing is not ready and um, the levels are not correct so I don't know I'm hoping to launch it sometime this year uh, I have about 20 minutes of unrecorded um, like uh, zero unrecorded minutes of unrecorded tracks uh, distributed among different tracks maybe that could easily become 30 again because you know when you're in the middle of it there is no stopping the ideas from coming and and taking their space and um, that's a long time um, so it's hard to promise anything and uh, well who knows you know if I ever release this album I, I really have an intention and I hope so but uh, we'll just have to see well I haven't spoken about all the tracks but um, I don't know which track is going to make it to the album I definitely know what my intent is and I suppose it will be like seven eight uh, tracks it might become a double album uh, I'm I just want to get it all out there um, at least the tracks that I have in mind and some of them are long and who cares uh, this is for me this is for my dog this is not for anyone else but if you are interested to listen or if you are interested in taking part of this experience I hope you will you know have a copy eventually I will print it in vinyl I, I want it to be proper and uh, we'll see I'm just stoked to be doing this and just credits should be given to my dog he's been very inspiring I walk with him and the ideas come to my mind I think he's communicating somehow you know that this kind of that is kind of far off but who knows you know 
I don't know their language. I, I surely can see when he wants something, but you know, I don't know, man. Right. So I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. Um, maybe we'll do this again. I don't know. I think it was fun and, uh, see you around Wallace. You're getting old there. Oh, and I forgot, yesterday was Melon's birthday and he has some cool videos. Well, he was carrying his birthday gift, the GoPro 7. Uh, it's his seventh birthday, so it's fitting, you know. And um, check them out. They're really cool. Okay, I won't keep you any longer. I hope you liked this background tracks that are playing right now. And uh, I'm looking forward to record these flutes today. Um, maybe I'll nail it in the first take. We'll have to see. Okay, bye.